In today's video, I will be showing how to do simple art journaling techniques with things that you might already have at home. So I've got some paint and permanent markers, a stencil, some scrap paper, could be printer paper, some collage paper or ephemera. I've got these old lids to use to make shapes. I've got some tape, acrylic paint, some foam plates to put the paint on, paper towels and water to wash the brushes, and of course paint brushes, scissors, and I've got a magazine where I'm going to start cutting out words. To add to my art journaling pages. And it doesn't really matter what kind of magazine you get unless you want to cut out certain pictures, but I'm just doing words. And I'm actually going to use an old book to do art journaling in. So I've got my colors of paint on this foam plate and I'm ready to go. And I am going to use this black paint on both pages, so I'm just going to pour that directly onto the pages and start covering up this poor turkey. And you can tell this is an old cookbook because of the font of the writing. And I don't even remember where I got the book. I never used it. Now I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and place it down on the wet paint and pull it away. So this is just kind of a pulling away paint technique. And the right side dried faster, so I don't know if it's gonna pull away as much, kind of, but not too much. And then I'm also gonna take a scrap piece of paper, put some paint on that. I'm gonna try to use a brighter color than the original background, black background. And then I'm just gonna put it face down, press down, and then pull away. Add a little more paint if I need to. And if you've seen any of the other videos, either on this channel or my own channel, you'll know that I like to do that technique a lot. Um, and then I'm just gonna do it again with a yellow color. So I'm trying to stay within the same color scheme with the yellow and the green. So I've got that done. I'm gonna straighten out the pages as I go. And then I'm gonna try to use like earthy colors. So some greens and browns. And I've got tacky glue and gloss varnish medium, um, both to use as adhesives. I use the tacky glue for thicker materials and then the Liquitex for thinner paper. So I'm gonna take that glue because I'm using a thicker piece of paper. Then I'm gonna take my old gift card and even out the glue. And I'm gonna press down really hard and make sure that it that that glue gets into the corners as well to keep it down. And so here I've got a thin piece of paper so I can go ahead and use the varnish. And I'm gonna put it on the surface first, spread it out wherever I want the paper to be. And then I'm gonna put the paper down and then put some of the varnish over that. And it will hold it down really well. I'm just gonna look for more pieces of paper to add on. So there's this like brownish color, has a hint of red, so I'm gonna add that. It's kind of another earthy color. And I've already got a lot of varnish on the page, so I'm just gonna spread that out so that I can add this other piece. Make sure I get a good amount underneath and over. And then I'm gonna grab an old lid. I don't even remember what this was from. 
but uh, I'm just gonna put paint on the edges and make some circles so I'm using red I'm trying to use some brighter colors um, as I get more layers down so I've got the black and then the yellow and then the browns so now I'm trying to get that bright red I'm going to do circles in different areas in the corners And then I'm gonna grab a smaller lid, and this was from, I know that this was from an old paint container. So I'm just making smaller circles um, with a different color. This is like a gold color, so it'll blend in well with that brownish color underneath. And then now I'm gonna just make some simple lines um, a different color by using the tape so I'm putting down the tape putting paint in between and then I'm gonna let that dry for just a little bit maybe a couple minutes while I start gluing down some other things so I've got another piece of collage paper and again this is a thicker piece of paper so I'm gonna use the tacky glue I'm just kind of deciding where to put it glue on there Gonna even it out and I'm gonna place it down make sure I press down really hard and get the glue in those corners sometimes the corners don't like to stay down as much so it's good to make sure that you have glue there And now I'm going to take some of the words and start gluing them down. So I'm going to figure out where to put those. And this paper is not too thick, but it's more um, the fact that it's like gloss paper. So that kind of paper tends to like bubble up if you use the Liquitex. So I try to use glue with that. Um, and that's usually like the kind of paper that's in magazines. has a quality that makes it not as movable and it kind of bubbles up underneath if you use the varnish and now I'm just placing the glue for the small words and when I was cutting out the words I kind of was getting an idea of what I would put um, and this is just gonna be very simple so you can always add more words or just cut out random words and then decide after if you're ever going to use them all as you go. So on the left it says focus, on the right it says begin your healing. And then now I'm going to pull the tape away and usually what happens is the tape will pull away some of the paint underneath it. Um, so it did that a little bit, but I usually expect that especially if I put tape over paint. So I'm going to do another line over here using the tape. So I'm just putting some tape down and I've also done like X's or other letters using tape like this. So you can do different shapes or designs. And I'm going to use red on this side, kind of keeping with the color scheme. So it's a lot of reds, browns, greens just very earthy colors and then I'm going to do some more circles with the red I'm gonna try to brighten up that left side with some red and then I'm gonna take the paint here and see, so right here, it really took away a lot of, um, a lot more paint than the other side. But I think that looks really, really cool. Um, you can see what's underneath. It kind of reminds me of like abandoned buildings that are kind of falling apart. 
but I really like that um, I really like that it takes away from some of the paint and shows what's underneath and so now I'm gonna use my stencil and I'm gonna put the word motivate on the bottom I'm gonna use this acrylic paint marker the brand is painters and these are some of my favorite markers um, you can get them like at Walmart and probably any art store but they're really really good I use them in my actual paintings as well sometimes you just have to shake it really well first I, I made sure that the words would kind of fit I mean I'm sorry the letters would fit so that the whole word would fit um, and so now I'm just going down the line and spelling the word motivate and I'm trying to keep it um, I'm trying to make it so it's like going off the page too underneath so the whole word is it's not like above the end of the page it kind of looks like it's going down like not quite halfway but a little less than halfway down so you can still see what the word actually says. And then I'm just going to go through and try to even things out and uh, kind of fill in where the paint might have been light and hard to see. And then I'm also going to take a red acrylic paint marker, same brand. It doesn't have to be the same brand though, but I just wanted to mention that. I, I really like this brand, but I just went through and kind of highlighted around the word motivate. And so this is what I came up with. Again, this is very simple. It's very basic. You can always keep layering and adding on, but I just wanted to do um, a tutorial on how to do some quick art journaling if maybe you don't have a lot of time. So thanks for stopping by and I hope that you found this video useful.